Hi, I'm Terry and welcome to Tardis Spider. Today we continue our series of videos on monsters and aliens in Doctor Who. Today, robots. Ten robots from the classic era. Now, there will be more than one video on robots as there are a lot of robots in Doctor Who, but today just the classic era. Now, I get my television from streaming services. I have a Roku device and I watch Hulu, Amazon Prime, Netflix, and BritBox. I have access to all the Doctor Who that I could desire, even though I do own it like most of you watching this channel. And I watch a lot, and I do mean a lot of BBC. I like British television. I watch very little to no American television anymore. Now, my shows are more geared to someone who's more than 60 years old, as I am more than 60 years old. But I still watch a lot of good TV. There's good TV out there for both young and old. Now, I don't watch all the superhero movies. Don't watch the Star Trek stuff. Don't watch the Star Wars stuff. I did see Star Wars come out in 1977 at the theater. It played at the duplex for over a year. It was a big event. So I've seen the first three Star Wars movies, but the desire to see the others was never there. From the first time I saw Doctor Who, I knew I was going to be watching it forever. The Robots of Death was a great way to start a passion for a TV show. Now, I also watch a lot of YouTube. I watch shows about, let's face it, I like professional wrestling. I watch a lot of WhoTubers, uh, Council of Geeks, The Doctor Who Guide, uh, Wingy Media, EMS, TARDIS Zone, Hooniverse. There's so many of you out there. You are my inspiration for trying to do this. Whether I do it well or poorly, it's mostly for myself. And it's mostly to enjoy Doctor Who. So we'll have our video today after I mention one more time. A child cannot have a favorite book if he doesn't have a book. Put a book in the hands of a child that doesn't have one. It's easy to do. So let's enjoy our video on Monsters and Aliens in Doctor Who, Robots. Aliens and Monsters Robots in classic Doctor Who. The Mechanoids. Originally built by humans, Mechanoids inhabit a metal city on the planet of Mechanus. All life forms they encounter are regarded as subjects of study. They and their city are destroyed in a battle with the Daleks. Costume, one point. Power, zero. Importance to story, one point. Two points for the robots of Mechanus. The War Machines. These fully armed mobile computers are basically mini tanks. They are constructed on the instructions of Wotan. The doctor captures one, reprograms it, and uses it to destroy its creator. Costume, two points. Power, one point. Importance to story, two points. Five points for the war machines. The Yeti. These are huge fur-covered robots animated by the Great Intelligence using small silver spheres inserted into a chest cavity to activate them. The doctor meets them twice and both times destroys a central pyramid to end their threat. Costume 3. Power 1. Importance to story, 2 points. 6 points for the Yeti. The Quarks. The Dominators use small atomic powered robots called Quarks. They are used to assist with the drilling operations on Dolphus. There they meet their end with their masters. The Quarks, costume, one point. Power, zero. Importance to story, zero. One point for the Quarks. White Robots In the land of fiction, Jamie and Zoe are hunted in the featureless void by the White Robots. Costume, two points. Power, zero. Importance to story, zero. Two points for the white robots. The servo robot. On what appears to be an abandoned cargo ship, this small efficient robot attacks Jamie and the doctor. Costume, one point. Power, zero. 
importance to story, zero. One point for the servo robot. The mining robot from the colony in space. Equipped with lethal claws, this remote control robot is used to terrify the colonists to get them to abandon their planet. Costume, one. Power, zero. Importance to story, one. Two points for the mining robots. The robots of death. There are three classes of robots on the Sand Miner. Menial Dumbs, Vox, and Super Vox. SV-7 was reprogrammed by Terran Capel to murder the humans on the Sand Miner. Costume 3, Power 1, Importance to Story 2, 6 points for the robots on the Sand Miner. The Megara. Imprisoned in their own ship for 4,000 years, they are released by the Doctor. The obsessive Megara then attempt to convict the doctor over a formality. After sentencing Cesar of Diplos to a perpetual imprisonment, the doctor dispatches them to Diplos. Costume, zero. Power, zero. Importance to story, one. One point for the robots. The Megara. The Rostin Robot. In the death zone on Gallifrey, the Rostin warrior menaces Sarah Jane and the third doctor. Humanoid in form, this shiny, metallic, faceless robot was a killing machine. Costume 1, power 2, importance to story 0. Three points for the Rastin robot. Cleaners, built by the great architect Coragnan, they clean the towers of its infestation of people. Costume 1, power 0, importance to story 0. The cleaners from Paradise Tower get one point. For our referral, it will be the seventh Doctor, Sylvester McCoy. He appears on an episode of Still Game. Ford Kierman and Greg Hemphill play the lead characters, Jack Jarvis and Victor McDade. You can follow these pensioners in Still Game on Netflix. Stay safe and enjoy. Thank you.